Hey everyone, Brian from Lock It Up here. There was recently was a question about uh, tokens on the Smart Pro. So let's address that. So up here you can see your token count. Uh, currently I have eight on the machine. Right here, this is your UTP count, which is an unlimited token. And uh, I don't know what it shows if you have, um, if you're on like a monthly or an annual plan, because I don't do that. But I have one 24 hour pass in the bank. So if you have your uh, Smart Pro all hooked up and ready for Wi Fi, you go to updates and you can see up here it shows the uh, Smart Pro. I'm connected to Wi Fi, I'm connected to the web, and then I'm connected to the uh, AD server. And uh, right now everything's checked. It looks like there's a bunch of updates here. But if you turn this on and all these are the same, you don't see any check marks and you're not sure if you're current or not, you can hit this refresh button and it'll refresh everything here. So you go back to the home screen and it shows obviously here once I come inside I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi so as soon as I turn a smart pro on in the house it connects to the server and uh, tells me how many updates I got if you want to see how many tokens you have you go to my smart pro and again you still have the token count in the UTP up here um, when you look here it'll show you how many 24-hour passes you have um, I've got two in the bank one on the tester um, expiration date that's going to be for um, your monthly and uh, annual pass type um, subscriptions and here you can see I have uh, 120 tokens in the bank and I have eight on the smart pro so if I want to add some you just hit uh, add and then you pick the number you want to add I'm gonna add five and it will do its little thing it usually doesn't take long and there you go you can see my uh, token count on the server dropped to 115 and on the tester it went up to 13 and I was told a long time ago not to add if you know if you buy a bulk pack don't add more than uh, 10 or 15 tokens on the tester at once um, and that's probably good advice that way there's no uh, questions or doubts if something happens to your smart pro you can also do the same thing if you uh, connect to the AD loader and um, I'm not going to do it but uh, you would select Smart Pro you would have your USB um, connected to the Smart Pro and it's basically the same thing it pops up similar types of menus of course they look different because the computer is the interface is a little bit different so the uh, box comes up but basically the, you'll have uh, stuff selected on the side why don't we just go ahead and do that? So let's plug, plug that in. Okay, so, and I don't know if this is gonna work because I'm already into the machine. There we go. So let me put in the passcode. Now it's going to do the same thing um, that it did through Wi-Fi, except I'm on the computer. So if you ever have trouble loading on Wi-Fi, hook to the USB cable and use the loader through your computer. And uh, usually once it reloads everything, it'll iron out any issues that you have. So you can see it's uh, checking the token balance going through device configuration. I didn't update it yet. So since I'm connected on the PC, I'll probably go ahead and do that while we're here. It's a pretty simple process. So we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so the uh, interface is done talking to the Smart Pro. And you can see here that it shows it did not update. Um, it must have updated probably the uh, main software uh, the the framework software on the machine um, but at any rate uh, current version available version so this you can see uh, you click device info it's already highlighted so all that's right here you get your serial number and versions and all that stuff um, tokens and 24-hour passes you click that it's just like smart pro to show you how many you have in the bank how many are on the machine and you can also click here to uh, to add them when you want them. Um, the nice thing about uh, Smart Pro is you can put the tokens on the machine, but they don't disappear. 
um, some other tools when you put the, the token or whatever terminology they use um, it's only good for that 24 hours after you load it that's the nice thing about smart pro you don't have to have an internet connection when you decide you want to use the machine uh, a lot of guys use that particular machine all the time or a lot so they're on a subscription program so it, it doesn't matter but for a guy like me if I want to use that machine I have to connect it to the internet download their version of a token onto it and then I've got 24 hours to use the machine so that that's what one of the nice things about the smart pro um, and then uh, you go down here to uh, software lookup and it'll show you what you have this token based and what you have that you've purchased so um, obviously I haven't purchased anything I use all tokens on this machine I do have another machine that um, has software that I have purchased um, but I use the smart pro more than anything else I hope that answers some questions for you thanks for watching